What's up everybody today here with Gary Watts, I'm Ryan Napton and welcome back to the ABC's of snowboarding. We are at letter K. K is gonna be for knowledge. So, obviously throughout all of these, I'm trying to share my knowledge of snowboarding, giving you insights of things to try, things to work on, how to think about it. But uh, also, I mean, this is not a one-on-one -on -one interaction, unfortunately. Gary, longtime professional snowboarder, snowboard uh, instructor, does the certifications, examiner type stuff, yep. and uh, literally taught thousands of people over the years. <laughs> and so he has a lot of knowledge to share. And yes, private lessons are expensive. So I hope you're getting your value on these, but also our friend Phil from the snowboard journey, he recently did a, a day with you. And the next time I saw him snowboard, it was significant improvements because with an instructor, you get, you know, hands on, you know, him seeing what's going on and having tips for making the corrective actions of those. So as a long time instructor, fill us with some knowledge that we can try. What is the most common thing that you would say you see people maybe do inefficiently or wrong out there? Yeah, for sure. Um, well, a lot of people just start to progress on their board uh, relatively quickly. They figure out their turns, their toe side and their heel side, and they say, wow, this green runs pretty mellow. I'm gonna check out the blue. And then before you know it, they're checking out the black diamonds and uh, they wanna get on something steeper, steeper. But what you find is um, a lot of times you'll end up scooting further back, further back over the tail and just riding on the tail of the board a lot of times, kind of pivoting off the nose of the snowboard um, quite a bit with that. Not to say it's bad to ride your tail. I ride on my tail quite a bit, uh, but I also like to use my whole snowboard. Um, and so one of the big things that I uh, teach people quite often is just how to stand on the middle of their snowboard. Um, and so reeling it back to some mellower terrain. Um, and one of the coolest, funnest uh, drills that I like to explore with that is just flat spins on the snow. Um, so taking 180s and progressing those to 360s, just sliding on the snow surface on both the toe side and the heel side edge. Learn how to really center your stance on the board, uh, keeping both your knees bent pretty evenly and starting to blend some up and down movements with that. I love it because so often you see people, you know, start to rotate weird on their board and all of a sudden they're on their tail and it, their board just runs away from them like we just kind of demonstrated at top. We actually kind of, when you did yours, it actually looks kind of cool. But during spring break and stuff, you see people fall like that all the time because they're not balanced over their board. So let's demonstrate those flat spin 360s. A little drill that I like to work on on icy mornings is instead of just keep on spinning, keep on spinning, is ha start on maybe a heel side side slip and then see how quick you can do a front side 360 and then back to a heel side side slip or then a, or a back side 360. How about you hit that little thing and then demonstrate that? All right, sweet. <laughs> Cool. So simple as that is in concept, it just takes you going and working on it. But you can just see if you're not balanced over your board when trying that, it's just gonna the board's just kind of gonna run away. It's not gonna spin around properly, and you're also learning your edges really nicely with that drill to not catch your edges. Big time, huge one for your edge control, edge awareness, and uh, just using your ankles a little bit to fine tune that as you go. Uh, but it's just fun as well, all right? It gives you some good options and some good practice on your lead up toward your switch riding as well. Absolutely, so uh, I hope, once again, I hope this is providing, the series is providing you with knowledge out there, things to try, and if you wanna get extra knowledge from Geary, check out the, in the description, info to book him for a lesson over at Copper Mountain, Colorado. Yes, please. Yeah, hey, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for subscribing to this ABCs of snowboarding. Happy shredding. And kapow!